Ladies and gentlemen, Shinovni Pantsvo, welcome to the fifth Belvedere Forum. I wish I could join you in Warsaw today, but though I can't be there in person, I'm so pleased that the forum is taking place. It's been a difficult 18 months for everyone, but despite all the challenges, Chatham House, the Polish Institute of International Affairs, and our partners in the Polish government have done an incredible job. It's a great example of British and Polish people coming together to achieve a shared goal and exactly the spirit that the Forum seeks to capture. The Belvedere Forum was created to broaden and amplify the dialogue between the British and Polish people, to create a space where representatives from our diverse civil societies can discuss, debate, maybe even sometimes disagree, and take forward the issues that matter to our citizens. Belvedere is about strengthening the relationship between our people so we can face the future together. We all know that the UK and Poland have shared important moments throughout our history, particularly in relation to security and defence. From the Enigma Code and Polish fighters playing a critical role in the Battle of Britain, to our close cooperation in NATO today, and we have been brought even closer by the Polish diaspora here in the UK. That shared history, that deep partnership and friendship, is something that we must always cherish and look to build upon as we face the challenges and opportunities in front of us. Over the next two days, you will discuss the most critical of those issues, how our people can work together in the post-COVID and post-Brexit era, how to face our shared security challenges, how we tackle the climate crisis, and how to support the next generation of our young people to connect. And if I may, I will say a few words about each of these. The COVID pandemic has caused widespread heartache. Friends and family have been lost. Lives have been disrupted and many are suffering the after effects, be that physical, emotional and financial. It has impacted all of our lives. It has changed how or where we work and it's destroyed businesses and livelihoods. And I'd like to pay tribute to the outstanding contribution that Polish communities in the UK have made to British society throughout this pandemic. They have been on the front lines, teaching our children, keeping vital businesses running and saving lives in our National Health Service. The contribution that they continue to make to life in the UK is irreplaceable. And what we do next is critical. We must build back better than before and we must work together to do so. With the UK's departure from the EU complete, we are committed to renewing and strengthening our relationships with Poland and all of our European friends. In our recent review of security, defence, development and foreign policy, we committed to remain deeply invested in the security, prosperity and democratic future of Europe. We also committed to playing a central role on the world stage as a leading member of the Western Alliance with the underlying mission of being a force for good in the world, committed to open societies and open communities. And we will continue to be the leading European ally within NATO, bolstering the Alliance by tackling threats jointly, including with Poland and committing our resources to collective security in the Euro-Atlantic region. Our shared security objectives have long been the foundation of our relationship. And today, we face a number of challenges from foes near and far who seek to undermine our societies by ever more complex and sophisticated means. Those threats can only be dealt with by working together bilaterally, as well as through NATO, the OSCE and other international organisations but also by ensuring every sector of our society is equipped with the knowledge and tools that are needed to help protect our way of life. And a significant threat to that way of life is the climate crisis. This is an important year in the fight for the future of our planet. The effects of climate change are being witnessed all over the world and will only grow more acute. The planet's average surface temperature has risen about 0.9 degrees Celsius since the late 19th century. The rate at which global sea levels are rising has doubled in the last two decades. 
We saw recently the devastating effects of floods in China, Germany and Belgium. We have seen wildfires raging across Turkey, Greece, Italy, California and Australia. No country is immune to these problems. The UK is proud to host COP26 in Glasgow later this year and the discussions over the next few days will no doubt highlight the shared ambition we all have to protect our planet and prevent irreversible climate change. This fight demands cooperation, the sharing of expertise and adapting how we all live to protect our planet. And I hope that the conversations during this forum will further that aim. We will be stronger tackling these issues together and we do so not just for ourselves, but also for our young people and future generations. And we must consider how to support future generations of Polish and British people to connect. Our citizens' aspirations remain the same, to be free, to learn, to find work and meaning in life, to love and be loved. We should explore how we can support those aspirations through education, through work opportunities and travel as well as open, tolerant and welcoming societies and listening to what our younger population care most about. This forum provides an opportunity to share ideas and to challenge our own views. It's also a place to find ways to inspire future generations to continue that wonderful work. Thank you and I hope you all enjoy the forum.